Hello YouTube, welcome back to the sixth part of the God of Vice City Definitive Edition playthrough. Today we're going to be doing the uh, Facetti Estate missions and maybe the Colonel Cortez missions if there's time. If there's time, remember we actually took over Diaz's mansion and all of his businesses. And I'm sorry for the delay of jumping into missions because I have to wait at least 30 seconds before jumping into the mission because if there's any cussing within the first 30 seconds of videos you pretty much know what's happening because I've explained this multiple times already oh, we gotta redecorate this place we gotta make it look older I can't stand this look Tommy what do you say what do you say we put a bar in the you're my lawyer Rosenberg not my interior decorator got it listen to me the time to take over this town is now it's all out there waiting for us we need to start seizing territory let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle. Or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead. And they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. <coughs> So basically, Tommy gives himself a five minute time limit to basically get to the mall and basically scale a bunch of store owners because of because they know that Diaz is there, but they're refusing to pay their protection <coughs> because they don't trust people with that kind of um. I don't. I don't. I still don't get why they. Are refusing to pay protection maybe because it's Diaz is dead and Diaz is the one that's always collecting but Tommy is gonna scare them into paying their protection okay don't understand what that lag was right there but basically You just gotta smash up store fronts, but I know in the OG version of Vice City, you had to smash all the um windows, <coughs> smash all the shops windows, and by the end of it, you had five stars. And five stars was nothing to be messed with in the OG version. I don't know if I can get around. Destroyed. Persetti, remember the name. And there we go. Yeah, I only smashed like 10 windows. And it completes. So you made it easier. You know, by pop these in certain areas of the map. If you see a greenhouse pickup, you can buy that property. <coughs> Stay inside the market and then press L1 to purchase the property. Yeah, let me not pick up that. Because I don't want to take off Tommy's suit. Okay, I was able to do that without picking up the casual Tommy outfit. We got a phone call. Just thought I'd ring you up give you some advice. Hey, Avery, what's eating you? There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. You catch my drift? I reckon so. And you might find the perfect business opportunity. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. So now let's get back over to the Vassetti Estate.
which is right over here. Ba bar brawl. What's the problem? Some bars refuse to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. Take out the guards protecting the f front page bar and find out who supplied them. Get in the car, useless. So this drive's really not too far. Now it's interesting, the pus those two men used to work for Diaz. <laughs> and one of those men I believe is called, um, I forgot his name, Mike? Yeah, I think that's his name, Mike. And here's the funny thing, even though Mike does end up dying at some point in this mission, <laughs> He will just come back. I mean, that's just canon that he comes back. <laughs> now we speak to the manager. Really? This dude is not letting me back up. Dude! Dude! Dude, can you move, please? One singular AI was keeping me from backing up. One pedestrian. <clears throat> GTA Vice City Definitive Edition, am I right? I don't have grenades. No, not the. Oh my God! Okay. Do my little exploit of losing the cops. <clears throat> so now we can get back. Now let's go back to the facility estate. Oh, we got a phone call. Screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, 
You can lay into me anytime. Tommy, I done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you up or stab you in the back, okay? Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy. But I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off. Okay? I'll talk to you. Okay, now let's go to... I think this is the final facility estate mission, which is... Copland? Yeah, Copland. You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all be so... I don't know, the timer must have got screwed. That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. Then somebody tipped off the cops, but everything What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now yeah, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but no one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. Well, thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a locker, and jump. Good plan. Let's go. All right. It's funny how Mike walks out with us, but he doesn't show. <coughs> So now we gotta piss the cops off. How do you piss the cops? There you go, there's the two stars that we needed. Now we just gotta go to the lockup. Excuse me. Can you move taxi? Move taxi. So I have to ignore that police vibe. Because that police vibe is bad. There we go. We got the cops. <laughs> Take a cop car and go plant the bomb at the Tarbush Cafe. Where's Lance? Lance? Oh my god, Lance. <laughs> so this place should be easy to torch. Easy, brother. No cop drives this bad. Damn, there's so many cops here. <laughs> Remember, smile at the other cops. <laughs> nice badge, nice badge. Real smooth, Lance. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ten. There we go. Where's Lance? Lance! Oh my god, Lance! Why didn't you get out, Lance? 
Why didn't you get out of the cop car, Lance? I'll murder you. <clears throat> you deserve that, Lance. Okay, I kind of bugged Lance out there, but... Oh my god. This is just bad. <laughs> Damn it, Mr. Tun. Really? Let's try this again. Really, Jeep. Oh my god, really? Excuse me, police business. No, no. Damn it. Stay away from me. Lance. I'm on him. It's not triggering the thing. My God. Uh, <clears throat> it wasn't triggering the thing. It wasn't even blocked. The fucking garage door wasn't even blocked. What the hell? Ah, I'm gonna have no biome at the end of this mission. Lance! Oh my god, Lance, you never follow me, Lance. Get your ass in the cop car, Lance. Take two, I guess. Real smooth, Lance. Those are set. Five seconds in ticking. Lance, get in. Come on, Lance, get in. Where's their pain spray? We're gonna need that pain spray. No! No! I need to... That's not the way I need to go! Let me go! Aye! Oh my god. If I would have filled that mission again... I'm just gonna sit here in the pain spray. 
until the stars stop flashing. I forgot how in these older GTAs, which are, look brand spanking new, <laughs> how reckless the cops drive. Dude! Really? And that cop still lays out a freaking spike strip. Wow. What a jerk that cop was. Like he purposely still laid out that freaking spike strip. Like, how stupid do you have to be? <clears throat> like, even though I know that it's the, still the same car, the same two people dressed as cops, but still. <coughs> GTA logic, I guess. But I still can't believe I had to do this a second time. All because Lance didn't jump up. I don't know why Lance didn't jump. I want to say freaking trapped Lance and one of the cars flipped over. <coughs> Cause something did explode. But we made it second time. We almost failed the second attempt too, which is stupid. Because the FBI's they were known in the three D era of GTA before they got before they changed the Did I just lose some more armor because I got out of the car? I cause when I saw the armor flash, or is that just me? And that should be the end of the Facetti State missions. Protection ring asset completed. <laughs> Percent of you say we generate revenue up to a maximum of $5,000. Make sure you collect it regularly. <coughs> well, I'm definitely picking up that body arm in the basement of Tommy's mansion. But for those that remember t that phone call, uh, here's another phone call. Tommy, it's me, Lance. Keep your mouth shut there, Tommy, because I ain't got no time to talk. <coughs> I ain't interested in what you got to say. Why should I be? You don't care about me, do you? You got to look after me a bit better. Give me a spare slice, you know? Hey, hey Tommy, man. Look, hey, I'm sorry. It's just that people patronize me all my life. Treat me like a little kid. My brother would do that. Please, man, don't do that. I got to go. So Lance is now complaining that Tommy's not giving him a fair slice. <coughs> but I mean, it kind of shows what Lance is going to be doing later on in the game. And I don't remember if I told you guys this in the first part or not, but um, the reason Sonny has Tommy down here is because an incident happened in a street in an area of Portland in Liberty City called Harwood, Harwood. and basically Sonny tried to get Tommy killed by 11 men and Tommy ended up killing all of them and that's why he was and that's why he's nicknamed in Liberty City the Harwood Butcher Damn it. Okay, let's do this Cortez mission. All hands on deck. Circumstances force a hasty departure, amigo. What's the problem? Ah, the French want their missile technology back. And after that last incident, I feel it is time to find safer hoppers. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check-in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns. <laughs> So the French are trying to get the Cortez before he sets sails to get his missile technology to get their missile technology back. Quartet, quartet. 
Damn. It was I had that much ammo. Oh my god. I wasn't even trying to jump off. I wasn't even trying to jump off, game. I don't think I can even skip this. <laughs> yeah, I can't skip this because I'm like spamming X and nothing's happening. <coughs> But I'm gonna leave that fail in there. I'm gonna leave those two mission fails in there. Okay, hopefully this time I don't get glitch and jump down. Wow, they're just dead in the air like that. <sighs> 
There we go. This time, we succeeded. Tomas, you have protected and served me well. But now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. A token of my gratitude. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, one more request. While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. Well, let's conclude this part of the Gundal Vice City Definitive Edition playthrough. <coughs> I hope you all did enjoy this part. If you did, consider hitting the like button down below and also subscribing. And also turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye. <laughs>